Apocryphal records of history record the name of the king who was ruling in Shurapak, that city by the Euphrates, when the flood swept over. By the name Zayasudra in southern Sumerian, or as Utnapishtim in northern Akkadian. It is written in certain records that the descendants of Cain, called the sons of gods or Anunnaki, watchers, and their Nephilim, titans and heroes offspring, bred with the wives of men, that is, mortal men, the descendants of Seth, had built cities prior to the flood, and there is evidence of, at least, five abandoned pre-Sumerian proto-cities in Ein Gazal, Ein Malaha, Katul Hayuk, Jericho, and Gobikli Tape. Counting Lamech as of Sethite descent, Genesis records five descendants of Cain prior to the flood, while there are eight generations from Seth. In the Dead Sea Scroll Book of Giants, it is recorded how one of the Anunnaki had a nightmare and went to Enoch, the Sethite patriarch, to interpret it for him. In the Book of Enoch, Enoch describes how, in a series of dreams, he himself then saw vast swaths of land and vast vistas of time. He describes in this work the fate of the fallen angels, also called in the Ethiopian Coptic version of the work, the Anunnaki being that they will always be suspended upside down in mid-air, ever falling. It is recorded in later legends, confer Lewis Ginsburg, also that these rebel angels, led by Shamiaza, according to the Book of Enoch, were cursed by the Holy One, blessed be he, to be made of one half fire and one half air, ever burning as they fell. Such was, even unalterable at the pleas of Enoch, the fate destined for eternity for the transgression of the sons of God, angels, breeding the Nephilim, giants or titans, with the wives of men. So, to eradicate the bastard Nephilim, to erase their unholy cities, and to punish mankind for their dealings with them, God sent the flood to destroy the whole world. The only one he saved, according to the earliest sources for such records, the Epic of Gilgamesh, was Zayasudra, or Utnapishtim, from Shurapak and his immediate family. This record is preserved as of Noah in Genesis to this day. In the historical records of the P.O.D., there is ample written record to have survived from pre-diluvial Atlantean times. It is recorded that, after Enoch witnessed the inevitable punishment of the Anunnaki fallen angels in his dream, he explained the coming of a global disaster, as this dream's portent, to the Nephilim giant half-breeds. According to P.O.D. historical records, it was only at this point when the eight rulers of the five early proto-cities all came together in conference about this that Enoch explained to the giants the final omen would be the birth of Lamech's albino son, Noah. Masonic records indicate Enoch himself took measures to preserve the twin pillars of all written laws of the time by making one from metal to withstand flood and the other from stone to withstand fire. He then buried the map to this location in a nine-chamber deep tomb but was murdered while this was being constructed by the Nephilim giants Tubal Cain, Jabal, and Jubal that Enoch hired to build the crypt.
when Noah was born, the Nephilim knew their time was up. So they convened in council and created an artifact to be preserved, alike Enoch's map to his hidden pillars, that was encrypted and which they could not decipher. Noah, Zayasudra or Utnapishtim, then king of Shurapak, met with the other eight kings over the five places. They created the relic with fourteen insignia, sigils for seven cameo and seven archangels. The cameo were the five places, the hypostasis or reality, and the archangels were the nine kings, the archons or powers. This relic, so signed by them all, was then buried away and forgotten for many centuries until, POD historical records claim, it was discovered again by the Knights Templar during the Crusades and brought back to Europe, where the sigils began being distributed about within black magic grimoires or books of spells, a genre of literature increasingly popular in the wake of the Inquisition. The Camia sigils had, by then, become split from the Archangel's sigils, and so the original relic was seen as being broken or shattered into fourteen shards, or Cliffoth shells. By this time, the original meaning was completely lost. Some, myself included, might be inclined to say the original meaning being a pact between the nine over five, had already been lost with the creation, in early Babylon, of the number-square talismans associated with the seven planets, the seven archangels, the seven cameo sigils, and the seven days of the week. In POD historical records, it explains that this relic or artifact comprised of the reassembled Camia and Archangel Sigils, was left as a confession and apology by the Anunnaki for squandering the gift of civilization. In the records preserved by the Sons of God, or Legacy of Cain, the origin myths for how civilization was passed down to mankind were very different from those preserved in Genesis, but the Genesis legends preserved by the Sethite Noah, survived the flood, while the Nephilim, Cain Generation's records, did not. They are, however, preserved in the POD's historical records via the Akashic records, accessible telepathically from now, that existed at that time. Thus, it is recorded that the Anunnaki themselves believed civilization to have been passed down to mankind by a small colony of time travelers from humanity's far-off future. This contradicts the Sethite records of the Anunnaki as being aliens from the nearby planet Nibiru. Nevertheless, the POD's records explain the Anunnaki themselves preserved a tradition that they had originally learned to civilize themselves and form a system of communal government shortly after a UFO crashed in Antarctica. The indigenous proto-hominids took the wreckage of this time machine and rearranged its parts into the original model for civilization, Atlantean democracy, erecting geometrically ideal architectural edifices around the crashed UFO's parts along the spiral Avenue of the Dead. Shortly after this, it is said, short-lived relations existed between these proto-hominids and time travelers from the future, but this was ultimately cut short by an unexplained event. The surviving records of history from the region in that area, however, all describe the destruction of this proto-civilization in the flood.